In this video, we will learn how to load the configuration and archive from a remote machine. When doing this, some important things to know are the default path where the archives are stored, as well as what the configuration file is and what the data is, which is the IHC, it being the configuration file, and files that IHA extensions would be your archive files that contain your data or messages, depending if it's a system or user store. When you install Historian and Start for the first time, it will take on the name of the machine at the time of install. So your configuration file will be named after the machine underscore config.ihc. Now that we know the parts that are involved, let's go through the steps to move a config over. First thing you need to do is go into services and stop all the services related to Historian. This is going to involve the Historian Data Archiver service and any collectors that you might have running. Stopping collectors isn't required specifically, but if they run, when you come back with the new config that you wanted to see data for, those collectors will show as running in that config, and that might not be something you want. So I always recommend to stop all the services that are running. Next, you're going to want to copy the configuration and IHA files from the remote machine that you would like to load on your local machine. That will involve copying the IHC and IHA files from the remote machine and pasting them into the archives directory on your local machine where you would like to load that config and query. Once you have the files loaded, you'll need to rename your existing configuration file, changing the .ihc extension to something like .old, and then rename the configuration file from the remote machine to match your local machine name. After you have those things renamed, just go back and restart your data archiver service and that should load the configuration file and you'll see the collectors that were last running on that machine and you can go and search the tags and query data from that remote machine that loaded up in the archives that were in the archives directory. To summarize, in order to load a config and archives from a remote machine on your local box, simply stop your services, rename your current config to .old, Rename the remote config to match your current machine and restart your services.